book 160. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the witch who conjured demons. That's right, the witch who conjured demons. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, there was a witch who had the power to conjure demons. Because of this ability, men would come from miles around to pay her whatever price she required if she would conjure for them a demon which could act as their personal slave. This witch, who was one of my ancestors no less, was raised up into this particular craft by another witch. Most men who would pay her to conjure a demon was doing so for nefarious reasons. They either wanted a demon to help them in war, help them to commit crimes, or help them to simply seek vengeance on someone for something. One day, this witch had just completed a conjuring for a client, and when he left her lair, she began to feel deathly ill, and her mind felt hazy. Then, out of nowhere, the witch became crazed and violent. For several days, she tried to fight these new sadistic thoughts and feelings, but the more time passed, the more insane she felt herself become. She slowly felt so mentally unstable, in fact, that she thought it wise to go to her mentor and explain her condition. When she did, her mentor asked her how many demons she had conjured over the past year. When she told her that she had conjured hundreds of demons, her mentor told her that this was the cause of her mental breakdown. Remember, the mentor said, you should not conjure so many demons in such a short period of time. But why is that? The witch asked. I wanted to make more money quickly, so I decided to conjure more demons. The mentor then went on to explain that in order for a witch to be able to conjure a demon that could survive in the real world for an extended period of time, the witch that conjured it had to give a piece of herself to the demon, and she must also take a piece of the demon for herself. A demon was made of spirit, she explained, and a demon needed something physical to exist. The mentor told her that she had taken on too much spiritual energy from the demons and her very mind was becoming demonic as a result. Afraid of losing her ability to function in life, the witch asked the mentor what she should do to restore her body and mind. You must stop conjuring, the mentor told her. The next demon you conjure might very well be your last. The witch vowed to never conjure again, and for a while, she honored her promise to herself. However, after many months, she needed money again. So, since conjuring was the only thing she knew how to do, she decided to conjure a demon one last time. When she did, this most recent demon entered this realm and took from her the last bit of sanity she had left, and the witch went totally mad and spent the rest of her days living like a beast in the wilderness. And so, the morning motivation of the day is the witch who conjured demons. Every man that a woman entertains and every woman that a man entertains will take a part of that person when they come into their life. They will also leave a part of themselves with that person as well. Indeed, relationships are a back and forth exchange of different ways of thinking and behaving and the person you entertain can either make you better or worse. If you are not careful, you will inadvertently take on the mannerisms of evil men and women, and those men and women will take from you the things that make you good and pure. Be mindful of who you entertain today, because that person could be changing you for the worse. So, protect your heart and mind, and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great, and you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.